All right, guys, I might have made a big mistake. So let me dive right into this. Um, we're getting into summer. I, I don't know if you guys don't know, but it's been super, super busy in my detailing business, uh, which is my primary source of income. It's been so busy that I need to bring more people on. Um, I'm like last Saturday, I turned down four complete details. That would, you know, it's just, it, I did so much to market my business to get these calls. I don't want to just turn them away. So I need to bring some help on. And in order to do that, I need to buy another vehicle. And in order to do that, I want that vehicle to look professional. It doesn't have to be brand new. I know a lot of guys will go with like a brand new transit, brand new uh, ProMaster City, something like that. They look great. You don't have to worry about them, which is amazing. Um, but I just didn't want to spend $20,000, $25,000 on a van. Uh, it just doesn't seem to make sense to me. Although now it might, because uh, again, I don't know if I made a giant mistake or not. Anyways. I was searching around for a vehicle and I found a 2013 Ford Transit Connect uh, and it was a fleet maintained vehicle. So all the engine mounts were just done, coil, new coils, brakes were done. The thing drives amazing. Uh, now the previous owner did notify me that the, um, it seemed to be slipping in fourth gear, um, which should have been an indicator. Uh, and also I'm into this thing for 5,000 bucks. Um, I think it's current actual good value would be, I, I mean, you know, like I wouldn't be surprised to see with the mileage and everything else that it has and the condition that it's in, I would think that it'd be around eight to 8,500. So I thought to myself, okay, this is worth a gamble. You know, um, I went and test drove it, drove amazing like it shifts really smooth through the gears really uh, all the uh cv joints were just done too so everything drives super nice gave the guy the money got it all done headed home and uh as i was test driving it i realized we just kind of put it around town i never got it into fourth gear and even though he did notify me uh, so anyways as i'm driving on the freeway first second third fourth we're in fourth gear we're cruising along I step on it to accelerate and so it drops back into third and instead it just wah, wah, it just it completely slips and just uh, the RPMs shoot up through this through the roof so uh, obviously it's got some transmission issues um, which he did again he did notify me but I'm just you know whatever so I've been calling around a couple transmission shops and uh, went and had it looked at by one of them and it's not just that it needs a transmission flush or anything like that. It does sound like it's an interior component to the transmission, so it needs to come out. Um, I've been quoted anywhere from basically fr from 1800 to 3900, depending on once they get the thing out, it depends on how much of the interior components are trashed and how much they need to replace. So obviously if I'm on that low end, great deal. Still a good deal on the van, I'm super pumped. I'm on the high end, I overpaid, I made a mistake. My trust in the van isn't really there. Uh, yeah, I might have blew I might have blown it on this one, guys. We'll see. I, I think I'll be good. I think I'm kind of budgeting. I think maybe 2,500. Um, so I'll be into it for 7,500, and I, so basically I'm still into the van for less 500 to 1,000 dollars less than what it should have gone for. So I'm totally cool with that, um, and I'm assuming that's what the case is going to be but you never know right so um, but let me go ahead and show you guys the van real quick it's obviously it needs to be detailed it's dirty very very dirty but um yeah let me flip you around all right guys so here it is this is my 2013 ford transit connect uh as you can see it is white uh the headlights are all funky and yellow um, so I will be shooting a video on how to actually clear that up and how to properly do it so that it doesn't get turned yellow on you again. Um, we'll show you exactly the process and how to actually reseal these things so it, it stays looking nice. Um, let me go ahead and pop this open. Again, it needs a detail really badly. So seats are pretty hammered, but I'll be able to clean that up. No worries. All that cosmetic stuff I'm just really not worried about at all because I can handle all of that. Um, it's nice though, it does have power, um, so that's nice. I'm gonna show you guys around the van a little bit more. Sliding doors on both sides, that's what I wanted. Um, it's just gonna make my life easier, or the tech's e life easier, my detailer that I'm gonna have working with me. Um, it does come with a rack here, which is nice. 
Um, and then, you know, but uh, let's keep going around the side. Oh, that's locked up, but you guys can see everything from here anyway. So there it is. Um, I'm going to be building this thing out as long as I don't completely lose everything on it and it's worth <laughs> building out. Um, then I'm going to be building it out, putting in, a, uh, putting in a water tank, setting up a whole uh, hose reel system for the pressure washer, for air. Um, we'll have a generator in here, sh shelving. I'm um, trying to mount everything, get it all nice and ready to go for the tech so that they can work more efficiently because I want my techs to be able to work fast because time is money, right? So if they're able to get in and out of jobs faster, that's good. It's more, more, uh, more profit in, at the end of the day. So uh, we're going to be doing that. And that is pretty much it. Oh, I wanted to show you guys um, the paint. Look how gnarly this is, if you can see. So that, look, doesn't wipe away at all. That is why you clay bar. So claying removes the contamination out of the paint, all the stuff that's embedded into the clear coat, it helps remove it and keep your paint looking fresh and not all rusty like that one looks, all those little rust spots. Um, this was located down by the airport in uh, downtown San Diego area, which is right next to the airport and right next to the bay. So salt water, uh, salt air also, which doesn't help paint really it's not you know you want to keep it protected so this thing was sitting down there um, all the jet fuel and, and all that kind of stuff lands on it uh, they also kind of build ships down there and all that industrial particulates in the air land on the vehicle and if it's not protected it just sits there and just gets nasty so um, we'll be able to sh film some good content on that as well showing you guys how to remove that kind of stuff um, and uh, yeah, so anyways guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, please. Um, affiliate links and YouTube ad revenue are gonna help absorb a little bit of the impact of this uh, transmission issue, hopefully. Um, not, it's not gonna be, you know, any, any little bit helps at, at this point because I was not expecting that and I made a mistake, I think. Um, but I think it'll turn out real, really well. So again, guys, I think if I'm in that $2,500 to $3,000 range um, on the repair, I'm good. I, I, it was a good buy, everything's strong. Um, like I said, the motor mounts were done, coils were done. The thing was maintained really well. It's just the transmission issue. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks again so much. We will see you guys on the next one.